Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome again to, to my YouTube channel. I'm Atiano Lang. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and tell your friends all about it. So today we are going to talk about the joys and pleasures of sex. And before we even start, I want to talk about the erogenous spots. I don't know if you pronounce it erogenous or you say erogenous. I say erogenous. Now these are the points in the body that when someone touch it brings feelings sexual feelings or pleasure something of the sort <laughs> now men can go from zero to a hundred in a span of a short time but women we are not wired like that we need a full play we need uh, to be emotionally connected to our partners we, we kind of need that or, or otherwise you start faking orgasms or you do you have sex without having orgasms and by the way by the way this is true story we have women who are in a marriage they even have children and have never had an orgasm it is possible and i think i went through that for the longest time in my uh, first marriage the only marriage i had definitely um, yeah and I, I i i never had it i never had it i had a painful experience and most of the time and i think this is because number one i was very young number two i was very stressed out and uh, i would work a lot and uh, we had children in between like lots of children who are popping them out <laughs> And I think uh, for me, relationship became more about maybe having children and, and having jukumu, you know, like there's always something you need to pay bill, you need to do this, you need to do that. So, um, yeah, I missed that part during that period of time until like when I was out of it and I'm having my boyfriend and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, what was this? Yes. So uh, we have those points and for people are different. Some are somewhere here on the neck, some like ear, some say behind the ear. It is different for everyone. Some it is their, their nipples. And actually, men are also sensitive on their nipples. Some of them, you touch the nipples and they are cloud something. I don't know if there's a cloud nine. I don't know, I've heard of a seven heaven, which is not in the Bible, but I've heard of it. Uh, some people... It's uh, behind their knees, some people it's their toes, some people it's their thighs, some people it's how you hold them, from the, what position you're holding them from. And there's a very important part on every woman, this I know on every woman, is the same. Clitoris, right there, our clit. This is where the magic comes in. And when you put like a finger inside and you tap just, you know, like tap from the... On top, like nobody can see my fingers, what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Weird. Okay, anyway, so those are like the spot, the G spot. You need those G spot, definitely. And this is why I keep on saying the joys and pleasures of sex depends also on how well you know each other. I feel like sex gets better the more you know each other. I don't know why, but I feel this. I feel like uh, strange sex is really strange and strenuous, especially on a woman, especially on someone like me. It is, I, I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I like comfort, comfort all the way. Now, let's talk about positions. I, 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 uh, I kind of uh, had jotted down the names because I know the position, but not the name. Not the name. But now, I am speaking like, I'm just going to try and describe it. First of all, the seated position, like when you're sitting on a chair, like right now, I'm on a chair. Right? Right. Now, that is a sitting position, and I think uh, you can get plenty from that. Because, like, when the lady's on top of a man, facing each other, first of all, your clit is touching. It's touching, it's rubbing on something down there, meaning you're getting that vibration or whatever <laughs> happening the pleasure is coming in and the man can actually get to touch you know the the booby part and you can be kissing and can hold your back you know and stretch it downwards and you know all that happening at the same time 
or you can like stand up and go from you know from behind if your bull if your butt is bigger then the man has to slant a little bit lower you know um two let's the second uh, the second one is uh i don't know they call it the spoon <laughs> i don't know if that is what they call it the spoon uh i think um this is when uh this is when uh maybe the guy is on top right and uh it, the, there's usually a better penetration no matter where the legs are going if it's the other way yeah there is a deeper penetration on that position and when they lie from the behind of the lady it is comfortable so it can scoop the lady from the stomach zone you know and you know so uh, i think also there is a good penetration uh, the styles are many i just don't want to really get into it it's making me <laughs> feel weird feel weird but i think uh, the biggest point on the pleasures of uh and joys of sex is uh, knowing the g-spot having a deeper penetration having that particular connection and understanding and also knowing your status or using protection because you don't want to be thinking am i getting hiv am i getting pregnant you know all these kind of things when you're supposed to be enjoying yourself and enjoying each other in a process so number one if you're not supposed to be having sex don't have it if you're underage do not have it because sex is also responsibility it comes with a lot it comes with a lot trust me heartache name it and the joy of it also is there definitely but it is for a particular age it is for a particular age and a particular time and a particular space and a particular way now uh, get yourself checked out if you're really serious and you care for each other go get your hiv status go get the std tested because they do it once you know and you can be repeating it after three months when you love each other that much and um Another thing you guys can do is use protection. That way you don't have to think about, you know, other things. You want your mind to be clear and you want to enjoy each other. Yes. Now, comment down below. What are your joys and your pleasures? What are they? <laughs> See you again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so if you have a story you want to come and discuss with me on my channel you're welcome locate me on my instagram at tieno.olang actually it's not a dot it's something like a dash at tieno dash then there is olang and you know go there right i will find you note definitely and yeah mm -hmm. until another time see ya